It's been more than 100 years since our city's forefathers established the Art Institute as a place for Chicagoans to look cultured and sophisticated in front of their out-of-town guests. To impress them, though, you've got to know your way around inside. And there's never been a better way to do that than with the Art Institute's new Tours app. Let's head inside and try it out. The Tours app is intended to help visitors get more out of a trip to the Art Institute by offering guided tours completely different from the audio tours also available at the museum. Using the app is simple. Just connect to the Art Institute's free wireless network, then fire up the app. From there, you choose from among dozens of unique tours. A GPS-like feature attempts to triangulate your position using a network of hundreds of sensors placed invisibly throughout the museum, then uses your location to guide you from exhibit to exhibit along the tour. Hey, how are you? The GPS-like feature is cool, but there's a catch. It's GPS-like, not actual satellite GPS, which can't penetrate the Art Institute's thick limestone walls. The network of sensors works okay, but you're not gonna confuse this little blue dot with the one from, say, the Google Maps app. Inside the museum, you can walk 100 feet, and the dot may not move at all, then suddenly it'll jerk to the right and suggest that you're standing in the middle of a glassed-in display of ancient pottery. It's better than nothing, but also plenty frustrating. The blue dot is not moving, but I have arrived at the Ando Gallery, Gallery 109. Without the app, this room is dark. With the app, I've learned that the architect, Sadao Ando, built the room to include 16 pillars that reorganize your sense of space with every step. He said that when entering the gallery, he hopes that visitors feel as if the wind is passing through these columns, creating something that reminds them of something beyond physicality. That's cooler. The app covers the Art Institute's greatest hits, too. American Gothic, check. Nighthawks, check. Moulin Rouge folks, check. Then it's back to the less explored stuff. The best part about the app is the original content supplied by the Art Institute staff that introduces you to different galleries and artworks and collections that I hadn't experienced before. So besides the first date tour, there's one highlighting Chicago artists. There are even sort of quirky, fanciful tours. There's one that shows you different monkey-themed art in the museum or the birthday suit tour with lots of naked people. And then there's the Chicago Artist Tour, which includes Georgia O'Keeffe, without whose Chicago connections the Art Institute wouldn't have a lot of the awesome modern art in its collection, including her own Black Cross. The app's been out less than a month, so while the GPS-like feature is still a little buggy, there's plenty of time for the Art Institute to refine it. I hope that they do. Meanwhile, the app is still immensely helpful because of how cool these tours are. Out of all my trips to the Art Institute, this one's been the most enlightening. <laughs>